Hi everybody, I am one Arm Brian and this is Black Lights Matter. Now today, me and Philbert, who I'm sure is going to show himself on camera here any minute, are, are here to talk about something pretty serious. Uh, this is one I wanted to get out as soon as I got home. I've been on vacation for about two weeks <clears throat> up in Canada with my wonderful children and grandchildren and I'm wearing my toque that my beautiful daughter made for me uh, because back here even uh, in northern Arkansas it's like 16 degrees today um, and I feel it and uh, anyway so uh, I want to talk about CHS cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome this is something that is an illness, a new illness associated with cannabis use that is cropping up more and more in the, uh, let me get my thing out of the way before you get it all over yourself. Um, uh, uh, cropping up in the uh, 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 legal states. It's linked to heavy cannabis use. The symptoms are uh, abdominal pain and vomiting. And uh, apparently it's been seen in, by doctors in emergency rooms and nobody is quite sure what the hell is, uh, is the cause. But apparently there is a relationship with cannabis use. So, uh, my comment on that is the fact that I have, in fact, experienced this. Uh, it's only been in the last couple of years. It happened to me twice. I was sick for five days. I was so nauseous I couldn't eat. I lost weight. All I could do was take water in and then I would vomit it right out. It was wild. I even asked my doctor about it. So, I, when I saw this on the news, I was really intrigued. And uh, believe me, I'm, that's, that's what I've had. It's, it's, it's amazing. So. I don't know what's going on, but I've been smoking weed heavy since 1971, and this has only been happening the last few years. So I think that either this is a big giant government conspiracy again, like Paraquat was back in the 70s, or maybe a friend of mine suggested that guys aren't flushing their uh, their uh, chemicals out of their weed before they harvest it. Uh, now I can't remember if this has happened to me since I've been doing concentrates almost exclusively, although a friend of mine pointed out he thought that it had, because I was thinking that perhaps it hasn't happened to me with concentrates because they are so purified. But again, apparently if you don't flush them and get all the uh, propane, isopropane out, uh, uh, if you're doing it that way, then apparently that could be a factor in this also. So, if that's true, I want to put out a word to the growers. For God's sake, guys, make sure your stuff is clean if you start to uh, given the uh, the right wingers ammunition to use against us, that's just going to make it harder and harder to keep weed into the uh, in, uh, keep it legal and, and get it into the mainstream, which is what I'm doing this for. <clears throat> Excuse me. In fact, on that note, I want to mention that I just received my uh, Kush cargo box. I got back. Uh, I got it when I was away over my vacation, and my uh, munch pack came today. But I've decided I'm not going to do openings anymore. Hell, you guys know uh, more about the, the those subscription services than I do and I have more than enough gear now so I've canceled them both because Munchpack is I don't think is too good of a deal it's interesting but it's it's kind of an upper middle class hobby I think than, than my era or my my station in life or whatever but uh, anyway I, I'm not a corporate shill I mean hell uh, I, if I find a product that works I'll, I'll tell you about it if I experience something I'll try to tell you about that but I'm here about education and acceptance and bringing cannabis use into the mainstream. That's what I want. I want to educate people my age and older so they're not afraid anymore. I want people to know that smoking concentrates with a torch and a, and a glass pipe is not crack. It's simply a way to vaporize it, to, to elicit a chemical reaction, changing something from a solid to a vapor by heat. It, it's, it's not crack. Um, and. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, that's what I wanted to get out now. Uh, I'm going to do a, a, another, my other next video or, or, or one coming up. I'm going to tell about uh, how I lost my arm. Uh, one of my subscribers has asked, and since you've asked, I'll be happy to tell you. I've got no problem with it. Uh, being, uh, I'm far more upset about losing my hair than I'm about losing my arm. Uh, and it's a long story, so I'm writing it down, so I'm trying not to forget anything. Uh, uh, this may be 40 years, man. Uh, so it's, it's quite a long story of how I got to where I am today. Um, but anyway, I wanted to mention CHS, <coughs> excuse me, because nobody else has yet. And uh, I want to be the first. But uh, I also, it's very important. I mean, you really should know what you're dealing with when you're doing anything recreational. I mean, hell, if there was something to talk about motorcycles, and my son is just a motorcycle fanatic and, and expert. 
excuse me, I'm drooling, uh, I, I would report that also. I mean, hell, that's if we all don't watch each other's backs, guaranteed, folks, the government is not going to do it for you. Um, but anyway, do some research. I will put a link down below, and as I've always said, do your research. This is a classic, perfect example of what I'm trying to say, okay? So, on that note, I'm going to take a rip just to show you that, uh, uh, by and large, marijuana, which I hate that term, I've got to stop that, cannabis and concentrates, anything uh, made, made or manufactured from cannabis is safe and is a gift from God, from whatever God you believe in, because I'm, I'm very specific in my spiritual beliefs. I'm not religious at all. Religion was made by man. I've got a real hard problem with that. But I'm very damn spiritual. And we perhaps we'll talk about that one day. But this is, they found THC on an asteroid, man. If that doesn't prove that this stuff is a gift from God, I don't know what does. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, I'm just, I'm here to prove that this is the, a wonderful thing, and it's not something that we should be afraid of, ever, in any form. <clears throat> if you don't want to smoke it, get uh, edibles. You can order them online now if you're in a red state like I am. Uh, you can make them. I mean, it's, 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 it's worth the effort. I, uh, a friend of mine just lost her father, I believe, to cancer, and it's, it's a shame that I bet it was never offered to him or suggested. Other people that are suffering, especially people in the red states, or people that are conservative or older than I am that were raised in a very conservative atmosphere. Look at this little sucker go already. This is my new one out of the uh, Kush Cargo thing. Uh, I don't remember. It's a uh, di diamond glass, I think it's the manufacturer. Neat little rig, little 14 stammer. But it's straight up and down, so i got to stand up to do it. But anyway... Uh, people should be allowed medicine, and cannabis cures cancer. Even the government knows that. That's why they have a patent on it. So if you're if you know anyone that has cancer, for God's sake, get them some CBDs. You don't even have to get high off of it. It's the other side. It's the other thing other than THC. Remember we talked about that. That's what makes you well. That's what keeps you well. Anyway, here's Harold the stunt dab because dab is still illegal in my state. So this is a pretend dab. This is Harold the t the stunt dab, and here is to knowledge about CHS, cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome. Here we go, be right back, hang on. Whoa! That works pretty good, huh? Not bad. I talk too much and probably that'll get cold. And I didn't carburet it, but what the hell. Well, ha, we all make mistakes. Anyway, I think that's it for this one. Uh, I, I've babbled on long enough. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to uh, brag about my children and my grandchildren for the rest of my life. I've had the most ex amazing experience. You just, you will not believe it. You'll think I'm making it up, but I can prove it all. My kids are fracking nearly perfect. It's, it's amazing. My ch grandchildren are perfect. My God, it, it's unbelievable. But anyway, um, as I've said before, in this age of instant information, ignorance is a choice. Please choose not to do that. Do the research. Look things up. Check out the links below that I'm going to give you. Do your own research. Come to your own conclusions. Hopefully they'll be the same as mine. Um, anyway, uh, subscribe to my channel. Spread the word. Uh, give me the thumbs up below. I think that means something to YouTube. I really have no idea. Um, Tell all your friends, uh, spread the word. We, we, we really have to stick together, folks. This is us against them, believe me. Um, so, that's it. I guess uh, the only thing I can say now is just remain elevated. Thank you, folks. Bye.